Hello learners, welcome to Constant Learners. In the previous video, we've discussed functional dependency, how it is denoted and when the functional dependency exists and when it does not exist. In this video, we are going to discuss the properties of functional dependency and the types of functional dependency. Now here, there are three main properties of functional dependency and these four properties are actually derived properties. All right. And the types are four types of functional dependency. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And if this video helps you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. All right. What is functional dependency? Now, when an attribute or a set of attributes is dependent on another attribute or set of attributes, we say that functional dependency exists, right? Functional dependency is denoted as like this, X determines Y, right? That is Y is functionally dependent on X. So Y here is the dependent attribute and X is the determinant, right? Why Y is the dependent? Because we are determining the values of Y using the values of X. So X attribute X is determining the values of attribute Y, right? If you have to take an example from this table, we can write that role number is determining name right or name is functionally dependent on role number so role number is the determinant and name is the dependent attribute right we also discussed that functional dependency will exist only in two conditions when either this role number that is the determinant is entirely unique right when there are no repetitive values in the determinant then we don't care whether the dependent has repetitive values or not, right? Every determinant should give us a unique value of the dependent, right? We cannot get two different values for the same determinant. This I've already discussed in the previous video, right? That means if here, let's say I have another row with role number one, then the name should be Raj only, right? Here for role number one, the name is Raj. Then here also, the name should be Raj. Only then the functional dependency will exist. If instead of Raj, we have Sartaj, right? Then in this case, the functional dependency will not exist, right? Next, let's start with the properties of functional dependency. The first property is reflexivity. What is reflexivity? Let's say we have A, which is the set of attributes. Let's take roll number and name right so a is roll number and name and b is a subset of a subset of a means either this attribute or this attribute right let's say b is nothing but name right now if b is a subset of a then the functional dependency that is a determines b will always be true all right if the dependent is a subset of determinant, then in that case, the dependent will always be functionally dependent on the determinant, right? This will always be true. For example, as I said, rule number and name and the subset that is B is a subset of A. Then in that case, rule number and name will always determine the attribute name this will always be true this functional dependency will always 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 exist right so when the dependent is a subset of the determinant the functional dependency will always exist right next second property is augmentation augmentation means what that means let's say if there is a functional dependency that is x determines y, right? Now, if we add an attribute to both sides, both sides means what? Left hand side and the right hand side. We are adding the same attribute to both sides. Then also this functional dependency will hold true. That is, if this functional dependency x determines y is true, then if we add an attribute, let's say x, z, will also determine y, z. This will also be true. By which property? By the property of augmentation, right? We are adding an 
extra attribute on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. Let's take an example. Let's say roll number determines department. All right. Let's say this is true. Now, if I add another attribute on both these sides, that is roll number and name, right? So this will also determine department and name, right? We are adding the same attribute on both sides, left hand side and right hand side, right? So if roll number determines department, then a combination of roll number and name will also determine the combination of department and name by the property of augmentation, right? Next, next property is the transitivity property transitivity property means what that means if let's say roll number is determining name and name is determining marks then as per the transitivity property roll number can also directly determine marks okay that means if x is determining y and this and is very important right both of these functional dependencies should hold true that is if x is determining y and y is determining z. When both of these are true, then x can also directly determine z. This will also be true. If roll number is determining name and name is determining marks, then roll number will also directly determine marks, right? Because here this dependent is acting as a determinant here, right? So this first determinant can also determine this last dependent, right? Next property is composition. That is, if A determines B, right? And C determines D. So composition says that we can combine the left-hand sides and the right-hand sides. This is the composition property. Combine the left-hand sides means what? A will be combined with C. So AC can determine both the right hand sides together. That is B, D. Right? So we have combined the left hand sides and we have also combined the right hand sides. For example, if let's say roll number is determining marks. Correct? And see it is important that both of these are true. Both of these have to be valid. For this property to work right so if roll number is determining marks and name is determining department right then we can combine the left hand sides that is a combination of roll number and name can determine the combination of attributes that is marks and department all right I hope that this was clear. This is the composition property, wherein we are combining both, that is the left-hand side to the left-hand side and right-hand side to the right-hand side. All right. Next property is decomposition. Now, decomposition is not the opposite of composition. Okay. You cannot stay in this assumption that here we are combining the left-hand sides and right-hand sides. So, here we will divide, that is separate the left-hand sides and right-hand sides. No, that is not correct. Right. What does decomposition say? If A determines B, C, right? If this is true, then we can separate the right-hand sides, okay? Only right-hand sides, not the left-hand sides. Then A determines B and A determines C. This will also be if this functional dependency is existing, then this will be also true. If A is determining two attributes, then A can determine both of those attributes separately also. Let's take another example. If AX is determining BC, then AX can determine B and AX can determine C. We are not separating the left-hand side. We cannot separate the left-hand side. That is not possible. We cannot separate the determinant. We can only separate the dependent. Right? So we cannot write this as A determines B and X determines B. Right? This one, we cannot write it like this. No, this is wrong. This is invalid. 
we cannot separate the left hand side we can only separate the right hand side so let's say roll number is determining name plus marks so we can write it separately also that is roll number is determining name and roll number is determining marks all right next is the pseudo transitivity now what is pseudo transitivity let's say we have a functional dependency that is x determines y all right this is true this functional dependency is existing right and now this dependent y combined with another attribute let's say z is determining an attribute w this is also true right now since x is determining y and now y is combining with another attribute to determine w now in this case we can replace this y by x that is its determinant w so we are replacing this dependent y with its determinant x all right then as per the pseudo transitivity property xz will also determine w let's understand this with an example let's say roll number is determining name all right and a combination of name and marks is determining department right if both of these are valid if both of these are true then we can replace this name with the roll number that is as per the pseudo transitivity property here this name can be replaced with roll number so combination of roll number and marks will also determine the department all right i hope that this was also clear finally the last property that is the union it says that if x determines y all right and x also determines z so in the decomposition property that is this one we were separating the right hand sides in the union property we are combining the right hand sides why because the left hand side is common right the left hand side is common to both here also we have x and here also we have x so when x can determine y and x can determine z then as per the property of union we can say that x determines a combination of y and z right so if x is determining the roll number that uh, sorry roll number is determining the name and roll number is also determining marks let's say both of these functional dependencies are true then we can write it as roll number determines both name and marks this will also hold true right so these were the properties of functional dependency all right let's quickly discuss the types of functional dependency first one is trivial functional dependency again this is same as reflexivity that is the dependent is always a subset of the determinant right so if a is a combination of roll number and marks right and let's say b is marks so now b is a subset of a when b is a subset of a then we say that functional dependency that is b is functionally dependent on a this will always 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 be valid and this type of functional dependency is known as trivial functional dependency when dependent is the subset of the determinant then that functional dependency will always exist as per the reflexivity rule and this type of functional dependency is known as trivial functional dependency next is non trivial functional dependency which is the opposite of trivial functional dependency that is b is not a subset of a all right if let's say a determines b and b is not a subset of a right then this type of functional dependency is known as non trivial functional dependency right when the dependent is not a subset of the determinant then we say that it is a non trivial type of functional dependency right for example on the left hand side we have rule number and name right and on the right hand side we have marks and department right then in this case 
This marks and department is not a subset of roll number and name. And thus, this type of functional dependency is known as non-trivial functional dependency. Right? Next, we have is multi-valued functional dependency. In multi-valued functional dependency, the dependent, that is the right-hand side attributes, are not dependent on each other. Let's say here we have A determines B, C. Right? This is true. Let's say if A determines B, C is true. Now, this type of functional dependency will be known as multi-valued functional dependency only if, only if, B determines C and C determines B is not true. All right. B cannot determine C. That is C cannot be functionally dependent on B and B cannot be functionally dependent on C. So the dependent attributes cannot be functionally dependent on each other. When this is the case, then multi-valued functional dependency exists. Then we say that this functional dependency is known as multi-valued functional dependency. For example, here I have rule number, determines, name and marks. Right? Now this, let's say this is true. Now this type of functional dependency will be known as multi-valued functional dependency if and only if name determines marks and marks determines name. This is not true. Both of these functional dependencies cannot exist, right? Only then we say that this is a multi-value type of func functional dependency, right? And finally, the last one is transitive functional dependency, which is same as the transitive property. That means if A determines B and B determines C, let's say both of this is true. If A determines B and B determines C, then A will determine C, right? This is the transitive property. But whenever this kind of functional dependency exists, see, this is happening with the help of transitive property. But this type of functional dependency, that is, when A is determining B and B is determining C, then A will determine C. This type of functional dependency is known as transitive functional dependency. All right. That was all for properties as well as types of functional dependency. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. For any doubts and queries, write them in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching.